Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White, February 10th, Promise of His Presence. Go to dark Gethsemane, ye who feel the tempter's power, your Redeemer's conflict see, watch with him one bitter hour, turn not from his griefs away, learn from Jesus Christ to pray. See him at the judgment hall, beaten, bound, reviled, arraigned. See him meekly bearing all, love to man his soul sustained. Shun not suffering, shame, or loss. Learn from him to bear the cross promise of his presence. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. Whoever attempts the work of reform will have decided opposition to meet. This work requires self-renunciation. We must not ask whether we are appreciated or unappreciated. With this, we have naught to do. Look at the way in which Christ worked. Whoever attempts any work of reform, whoever tries to lead the sinner to a life of self-denial and holiness, will need every hour the assurance given by Christ after his resurrection. Lo, I am with you always even unto the end of the world. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Take the word, live the word, preach the word as you have done in the past. The Lord Jesus has given you the promise of his presence. Take it, appreciate it. It is not for you or me to measure the appreciation shown for the self-denial and self-sacrifice made. The work of reform will call for all the faith and tears and prayers that human intelligence can bear. Our commission is lift the cross and bear it after Jesus, striving ever for the same spirit that led Jesus to yearn for his anticipated baptism of suffering upon the cross. When in the garden of Gethsemane, the cup of suffering was placed in the Savior's hand. The thought came to him, should he drink it or should he leave the world to perish in sin? His suffering was too great for human comprehension. As the agony of soul came upon him, his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Luke chapter 22 verse 44. The mysterious cup trembled in his hand. In this awful crisis, when everything was at stake, the mighty angel who stands in God's presence came to the side of Christ, not to take the cup from his hand, but to strengthen him to drink it with the assurance of the Father's love. Christ drank of the cup, and this is the reason that sinners can come to God and find pardon and grace. But those who share in Christ's glory must share also in his suffering. Shall we take up the cross and intelligently understand what it means to follow Christ, practicing self-denial at every step? This Day with God, February 10th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.